Am I really live right now? What? Sick. I'm live. All right, folks. What? Oh, this is really cool. This is cool, guys. I'm just um settling in. This is a new system that I just oh, got. That is sick. Oh lord, you can probably hear the echo in the background. Let's get some music in here. Let's get some music going. Because this room is going to fill up as soon as I share this. But I want to get some music in here. Hmm. How do you use this thing here? Uh, how do you use... This is a new system, guys. So just bear with me. Go get some coffee. Do whatever you want to do right now. Until I set this up. How do you do this here? Mute. Hmm. Nope, that's wrong. Sound on. Yeah, guys, I am, um, hit the thumbs up if you're coming in. Man, I wish I really knew how to. Hit the thumbs up if you're coming in here. How do you, yeah, I'm going to get this thing started, guys. I just want to get some, like, I always, mo most of my lives always have um, background music playing. And I just want to get that going. You know, set the mood. Get people in a good mood. And I don't know how to, this, this is a new system I'm using, guys. So share the link. That's the most important thing right now. Share the link to this live, and we're going to get it started. Share the link. Share the link, guys. Share the link. Let everybody know we're live. As soon as I share it, this room will fill up. But I'm trying to get the... Man, I should have... Um, You know, that's my fault. Like I said, I just downloaded this today. And I just want to figure out how I can get some music camera. No, no video phone camera, no mic. And, and state your name if whoever's in here if you're in here and I know you state your name and how do you do with music yeah, let's take, let me see something that's, that's wrong I don't want to make music in GarageBand no how do you add audio oh you know what let's just do blank okay what the hell just happened? I don't know what that was. That sucks. Maybe next time I'll do it. All right, guys. So share the link. State your name. Who's in here? Who joined? Who joined? Scott. Scott's in here. I don't know why I didn't see that on the other screen. That was weird. Oh, I see it right here. Okay, cool. Scott. Scott's in here. Who else is in here? I'm going to get this thing started, guys. Oh, man. I love music, especially my jazz. I love my jazz, and I can't figure out how to play my jazz. Ah, I think I found it. This may be my jazz right here. So simple, right? Yes, I think it is. Let's see. Sound fun. Okay. I think this is my jazz music come on where are you three people in here hit the thumbs up button guys if you're coming in let's see what this one sounds like hopefully this is good this might be good I know, I know.
right, now we're talking, baby. I'm in the game now. Can you guys hear that music? Just put yes if you can hear that music. Well, maybe I can check myself. Can you guys take a long time? Can you guys hear that music? Break the trailer down. We're gonna play the trailer. We're gonna get into everything, the acting, our experience, guys. So share this, and uh, let me start sharing the the link to get some people in here now. But let me know if you can hear this music. Otherwise, I'll just check myself. Okay, Scott says a little loud. Thank you so much. Okay, so I can turn it down, right? How's that, Scott? All right, let's share it. Let's share it. Let's share the link. Share this link, guys. Share it on your Facebooks and all that stuff. Let's get people in here. We got a lot of good news going on, man. We got a lot of good news going on here, man. People are just sharing. This is just. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. All right, all right, all right. So Scott, yeah, I'm assuming you're still in here. I just want to get some people in here, buddy. Wait, why did that stop? Play, play again. This is a really cool application. I definitely want to get some few people in here and start playing it. Live with everyone right now. Alright folks, we're gonna get started soon. Just wanna get the room packed. And share share this video as well. I, I, I think I said that earlier. Share this video, share it, share it, share it, share it to your Facebook, share it to your Instagrams. Let's get people in here to review the trailer and get some real opinions. I've heard nothing but positive feedback though. You guys, that means your performance was stellar. Nothing but positive feedback. That means you did a good job. You guys did all of you guys did an amazing job man so it was easy to edit the trailer and get it done and uh, I'm sure to get like five people I'm probably gonna start playing it I just want to fill this room up yes I am good 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 I'm sharing it as 
we speak right now. All right, so Scott, what were your thoughts on the trailer, man? What were your thoughts on it? Oh, so this is in here. Man, this is so cool. I love this new program. Dave in the building. Guys, let's take our hats off to Dave, the producer of the Cure Game, associate producer of the Cure Game. Take our hats off to Dave. He's been working hard. He's one of part of the reasons why this movie was possible. Dave, what were your thoughts on the trailer? Let us know. Let us know your thoughts on the trailer. Folks that I've gotten to me, folks that have gotten to me loved it. Oh, folks that have gotten to me loved it. Okay, so Scott, great, great, great. People loved it. Dave, what is your family's thoughts? What do people think about the trailer, man? You guys can hear me well, too. I hope the music's not too loud. Let me make sure. Is the music too loud? Can you guys still hear me well and clear? Let me see. Oh, that is a little loud. You guys should have told me. You should have told me. Don't let me leave it too loud. Hold on. Okay, that's better. Can you guys hear me better, folks? I've got you. Loved it. All right. So we're going to get this thing started. I'm going to play the trailer. I'm going to review it. I want to see what you guys think. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to break down each section. Why I chose what. Ashley Torres, Ava's mom. Shout out to the Torres family. Good roots to you all. Love you guys. They're in the building. I think we got a lot of people in here. My friends and family were blown away. As I told you, Dave, I told you before we even went out, I said I would blow your mind. Just trust me. And I'm glad you did, my friend. And I'm glad that was the result. Love the finger flick that Troy did. Yes. Um, that the way I'm going to explain how all that came about, guys. That's why I did this episode. Um, that's why I wanted to do this episode. So I'm going to explain how all that came about. The finger thing, Reese is acting, Ava. Why I told Ava to do certain things. We're going to break everything down today. Okay. Let's go, let's go. So let's see what's cooking, man. I've been getting messages nonstop, phone calls nonstop. All good news. Articles, more news articles coming out tomorrow. Interviews just off this trailer alone, guys. And I'm not even done. I have so much more to show you guys. Um, I got a lot to show you guys in terms of what I have planned for the full feature. It's going to blow you away. We're going to be setting some people on fire, kicking some people in some pools, Running around in some mansions, Scott, and I'm talking. I'm referring to Scott and your crew, and we'll get to that. What, Scott, you're gonna be doing a lot of damage in Los Angeles. I mean, with your crew and stuff, a lot of damage in LA with your crew, man. You guys are bad folks, but um, we're gonna get into that. So let's get into it right now. While I have you all here, okay. So let's play the trailer. Here we go. Okay, here we go. As soon as I... Jeff in the building. Shout out to Jeff, man. Let's take our hats off to Jeff. He's a gentleman that wasn't able to make it to the shoot, but he's definitely put one of the reasons why this movie was possible. Um, so thank you, Jeff, associate producer, Jeff Theofall. Thank you so much. And now we're going to play the trailer, and I'm going to break it down one by one. So we'll play it through once, and then Adam Holly, hey, everyone. Adam, a.k.a. Brian here. Everyone loves it. Being a boy from Binghamton, people here were blown away. And I'm glad. I'm glad, as they should, because your performance was stellar. Um, it was. I mean, you, everyone said it. It was just, I mean, geez. The performance was no joke, man. No joke. You guys can act. Um, and that's why I'm glad I handpicked everyone, not just hired a casting director and said, go out there and do the job and get me a guy that's tall with blonde hair. Nothing like that. It was literally, you know what I mean? Like, taking taking certain people out. Like, hey, I'm sorry you didn't get the role anymore because we got to go with this guy. And I just kept doing it. You can ask Reese. I think she had six husbands in this whole film. We fired like four or five of her husbands. And uh, I handpicked Scott. I went through four or five people that auditioned for Scott. And I, I just wasn't budging, man. Last minute. Adam. Guys, Adam, if you don't know his story. Listen, I'm going to get into everything. Chevy. I'm going to explain Chevy's story. The way, it's very weird how this whole movie just came together, man. And guys, share the link. Share the link on your Facebook and let people know that the director and writer is live. And I'm going to break down your roles. And... I'm going to tell some backstories, and we want people to hear that. We want your friends and family to hear that because it's going to encourage people to keep supporting this movie. The more they support it, the higher the chance of raising funds for this, and then the higher the chance of this movie being completed. So everything counts. Everything's a trickle effect. Share this link to your Facebook. Let people know we're live. I'm going to be explaining a lot of stuff that happened on set, on and off set, whatever, before and after. But we're going to be explaining stuff. So let's get into it all right folks share it on your facebooks i'll give you a, a minute just a brief minute you got like 40 50 seconds to share it on your facebook just let people know we're live 
Tell me when you guys did it. Hit a thumbs up. Let's get going. I'm going to tell a lot of backstories tonight, guys. A lot of things. A lot of things we're going to be breaking down. A lot of stuff, man. Six husbands. You know what they say. Seventh is a twelve. <laughs> yeah, Adam. I think I told you that story, though. I think I told you that story. Listen, that's the process, man. You can ask Devin Richardson. I mean, man, this movie was... And this is only 30 minutes of it. I'm not going to say it was tough. Casting was tough for this movie. That's That was the hardest part pre-production for me. The casting and then the other productions of like shutting down the street. That's Devin and I handled that. That was a headache of his own. But with the in the particulars, when it comes to acting and stuff, casting was tough, man. I mean, could you picture getting 70 Adams and 100 Scots? You have to go through each and every Brian and Reynolds. The man, that was... That was crazy. And then you wake up in the morning, you got 70 more applications. Hey, my name is this. I'm from Detroit. I'll travel. Hey, I'm in Hawaii. I'll fly in. Don't worry about it. COVID's not a problem. I mean, dude. Yeah, it was. Whew. Now I see why they got casting directors. So not for the feature because I already got everyone. But my next movie, I'm getting a casting director. I'll still have some input. But I'm this is a, I'm hanging it up, man, on a big hanger. I can't go through 300 applications for each person, man. That was insane. Lord, that was insane. Anyway. So keep sharing this, guys. Keep sharing it. Keep sharing it. And I think we are ready to play the trailer. Let's play the trailer. Let's see the thoughts. Let's break it down one by one. So we'll do one full swing through and watch it. And then we will slowly break each part down. I'm going to tell some backstories. We're about to have some fun tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have your favorite snack, your favorite drinks. Ava, I hope your mom and dad allow you to watch this. It's not too late. Or if you got to hit the sack, I understand, my friend. But it's showtime. Here we go. Oh, Lord. How do you do this? Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Hmm. Do you have any rounds left? Oh, I don't know. Whoa, that was fast, right? Can you guys can you guys see the movie? Can you see it or no? I don't know if you can still... Can you see the trailer? Do you see... Somebody let me know if you can... Um, somebody let me know if you can see the screen, if you see the trailer. Do you see anything? Like I said, it's my first time using this program. I usually use a different program. So I'm not quite sure if you are seeing the same thing I'm seeing. Just let me know, guys. Can you see the trailer right now? Is it working? Someone let me know. Is it working? Before I start, I just want to know if it's working, guys. Somebody let me know. Is it working? Okay, it is working. Yep, it's working. All right. All right, let's do this, man. All right. I've been waiting for this day for quite some time. Here we go. Here we go. This is crazy. Like I said, it's my first time. I'm trying to figure out how to blow up the screen. Oh, sugar. You can't. Uh, whatever. All right, let's play it. Do you have any rounds left? Oh, I don't know. Look, either you're doing your dope. Jay. I don't know, Brian. How many people do you expect me to fucking shoot? All right, I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Oh, Get God. back. No. Get the fuck back. Get back. Do you need to leave now? Yeah, the infected get closer to us every day. <sighs> I know you're scared, and you have every right to be. So if you gotta trust me, we're gonna get that vaccine to your father in time. In the meantime, we gotta protect Charlie. Why is there a 60 second delay? Oh, Lord. Oh. Uh, I got to see Adam. Uh. So, 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 I have to kill your husband first. Can we make this an easy and clean transaction? What do you want? That's weird. I always wanted me a daughter. That sucks. You ready, babe? Oh, 
for watching here with you guys. So that was the Cure Game trailer. So what I want to do now, I want to get the thoughts of the people. What did you guys think of the trailer? That's the first thing. What did you think of the trailer when you first saw it? What was your first initial thought? What was your first initial thought when you saw the trailer? What was your... I see it as uh, we are seeing the trailer in normal time, but our comments have been delayed. Okay. Okay. So what were your thoughts, guys? What were your thoughts when you saw the trailer? What were you expecting? Let's hear from you guys. Was it everything you expected? Was it more than what you expected? Let me know. I'm just going to wait. Like I said, I think there is a delay, and this is my first time using it, this program. So I don't want to get into logistics right now on how to fix it. It's going to take 30, 40 minutes. So I'm just going to try to swing it and wing it, baby, and see if we can, you know, make it work. But what were you guys expecting? Were there certain scenes that you that you thought were going to be in there that you didn't see in there? Is there certain something that you wanted to see in there that you didn't see? What were you expecting, guys? And what shocked you? What shocked you? And then we're going to talk about favorite scenes, and I'm, I'm going to put it up again. I'm going to put it up again, and now I'm going to break it down one by one with you all. As soon as, oh, okay, that's how you do it. Okay, okay this, is, this is one of my favorite shots right here. Like, this is amazing. This shot is amazing. It definitely grabs your attention. Okay. Comments are delayed. I don't know why. Oh, man. This is sad. This is a very, very sad thing. All of you guys are commenting, and I can't see the good news. I was. It grabs your attention. I was speechless. Adam says he was speechless. Okay. I'm just going to look at my phone, guys. All right. Adam was speechless. Um, what was your favorite scene in the trailer, guys? Mine was the first, first shot. That was the, the first first shot was my favorite scene. I love this shot right here that we're looking at right now. Um, it's beautiful. You can see the rust underneath the car. If you guys look closely, you can see the rust underneath. I love the front wheel on the right side. If you could see it, the front wheel here is a little rusty and yellow. I mean, it's just in Scott said, yeah, all 30 minutes. No way. That's not happening yet. I'm telling you, man, we're, we're going to get into it tonight. I got a lot to tell you about the 30 minutes and everything, guys. And what people well the people that saw it what they think about it and this is all honest opinion and obviously i can't lie because you're going to find out when you come to los angeles but anyway i love the rust in the tire if you can see the detail here i mean the color grade by chipley was just amazing i think he did a great job him and i went countless amount of hours to the point he he hated my guts rightfully so because i kept bothering him up until two days before the trailer was supposed to be out i literally took this thing um yeah, I'm a perfectionist, man. If the color's off a little, there was at one point where Reese had her arms, if you could see in the shot, I actually got emotional for me. It was fulfillment of a long time dream. Adam, rightfully so, man. You did it. Adam, you did it. 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 Trust me, I know exactly what you're where you're coming from. I know what you're saying. I got emotional too when I um when I um got into one of the biggest film festivals in the nation for my first film. Um, so I know what you mean. When you fulfill one of your dreams, you get emotional, man. It's like, dang, I knew I can do it. And you did it. You did it, Adam. Adam, you were incredible. Incredible. So you, you deserve it, my friend. Hats off to you. Hats off to you. Mine was a finger walking with Charlie. A lot of people like that finger thing, man. You know, Scott's saying a lot of people like that finger thing. A lot of people. The characters fit their role well. Oh, you know, they do fit the role well. It took a lot of time. Cast, like I said, Reese had about six husbands. And they all... She divorced all of them winning this movie because I kept terminating people. Um, I remember one point, I was like, man, I don't know what I'm going to tell Reese. He's got a new husband. She was like, oh, my God, another one? I'm like, yep. If someone doesn't fit, man, I got to let him go. And it's no hard feelings. It's business. But I want to choose the right people for the role. It's not just about acting ability. I always say it's also about personality, man. If I don't get along with you or you're a nasty person or rude, there's no way it's going to work. Um, no matter, Regardless of how good of an actor you are. So... I want to choose people with good personalities, but also incredible talent. All right, so let's get back into it. So if you see this shot right here, this shot was very, very, very difficult to color grade. Um, Reese's arm, Reese's cheek, every time we increase the saturation, which is the color, we brightened it up a little. Her cheek would turn super red, and her arm would be really, 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 really bright because the light is hitting it. So we had a lot of problems with that, and it, it just took a long time to, to, to get to this point where it was a perfect color grade where you could see um, 
you can see the bricks in the background, the red coming out of the bricks. You can still see the rust in the front tire. I mean, it was absolutely incredibly hard to do this shot. And this is one of my favorite shots because I love moving shots. So this shot is beautiful. Reese holding the shot done very, very well. It's too well. You may have shot a few people in your lifetime. Let us know, Reese. But the way you're holding that shotgun looks like you did. But hopefully not. But Reese, very, very good job on holding the shotgun. Very, very good job. Um, so let's see. Is that one of them? So yeah, very, very good job on holding the shotgun, Reese. I love the blood on Reese's hands. It just adds to the contrast of the shot. Now let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. Beautiful. Now, if you saw carefully, oh, I love this right here. How you have the trees in the foreground. I love that, like the trees and the poles and everything like that. I just love that. It just adds to the shot, man. It's, it's all cinematography and art. This is all art. It's beautiful. Even this sign over here, where it says the, with the orange. I don't know if you guys can see my mouse. You probably can't. I'm bugging. I'm going crazy. You can't see my mouse. But the the sign over here on the window back there behind her. Um, just beautiful stuff, man. Just beautiful cinematography. Let's take our hats off to Tobias. I mean, the cinematography is incredible. It really is incredible. So let's keep playing. You have any rounds left? Oh, I don't know. You see, you know, and and this is what you know. I wanted to cut to this. Obviously, the people that f filmed with me know what happens in this film. Uh, what you say? Proud, very proud. Chills. But, you know, yes, very proud. Can you guys? Are you guys? Is this thing working? Yeah. Okay, it's working. All right, so this right here is amazing. I love, 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 love this scene. Um, let's keep playing. I don't think anyone expected what was going to happen. And those of you that say you did, don't lie. Tell the truth. You didn't know somebody was going to be licking a window in this trailer. Let's play it. Either you do or you don't. Jay. I don't know, Brian. How many people do you expect me to fucking shoot? All right, I'm sorry. Oh. Boom. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Look at the face on Ariel. Brian, straight out of Walking Dead, man. You did it. You did it. Adam Holly, take off your hat to Adam Holly. Reese, good reaction. Good job. And Ariel, man. I mean, that is just... The, 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 could we talk about the makeup artist? Look at this. Look at the makeup. The shadow casted on her face. I mean, this is just beautiful. I love it. The background, you can see the 215 in the back. You guys see the building numbers. I mean, this is it's, it's beautiful. Very, very well shot. It's beautiful. Brian, a lot of anger like we practice. You did it, man. You exploded the same way we practice, man. You let her have it. You let her have it. And let's... Get back! Get back! Now, who caught Reese's echo? Did anyone catch that? Did anyone catch Reese's echo when she screams? That was an effect we added in. Um, I, I love that effect. I really, really love that effect. Did anyone catch that, honestly? If you hear it, I'll play it again. You can hear her echo. Turn up your volume. You can hear her echo. Let's see here. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 Reese. And um, that was... Reese did that naturally. She did that naturally. We never said scream after he curses her out. It just came naturally. And that's the whole point of acting. Sometimes it just has to come from the heart. You got to feel it. And uh, yeah, she did it, man. She did it. She did it. She did it. That's why we say my script is a guide. Guys, you don't have to, you know, follow it step by step. Just let it guide you. And I mean, these actors, man, you guys are just incredible. The drone shot. Beautiful. Look at the trees. Look at the trees in the drone shot. I love this shot. Tobias, beautiful job with the drone. I knew this drone was the one to get. This is probably one of the top drones in the industry. So that's why I selected it. Um, and the quality came out well. This is actually 6K, what you're looking at right now. The movie shot in 4.6K. This is uh, 6K quality. So 6 times 1080. So the quality is gorgeous. You can see the blue on the left side. And you can see the yellowish from the right side, which is coming from the sun. And then the mist right over the trees. None of this is CGI. None of this is VFX. Guys, this is all natural. We shot it all. We didn't buy these shots. Actually, one of the color graders that I went to, which is the friend of the colorist from Moonlight, Academy Award winning film asked me where did you buy this shot from he didn't believe that we shot this he thought that some other professional shot it and sold it to us and I told him no that that's what we shot so he was shocked guys um, and these are Hollywood people like you know Hollywood figures and he was shocked so that says a lot about our film and the quality um, I love this shot I don't know who else loved the drone shot but it's just beautiful 
beautiful to me. So let's keep it rocking and rolling. Do you need to leave now? Yeah, the infected get closer to us every day. Reese, I like that. I like what you did. See, when you're directing, you have to catch as much as you can when you're there to help the actors and stuff. But when you're in the editing room, that's when you really catch everything. So in the editing room, I caught everything. The mistakes, things that I should have told you guys to do. You know, you always, as an artist, you always look back on what you should have done or what you could have done to enhance the people's performance. And I found a lot of things that I could have done to make this movie better, but we did the best we could, and I think we did a pretty good job. But Reese, I just want to comment on your hand slam, or release, rather. Uh, it showed a lot of frustration. I really like that. That was really good, Reese. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. And it's the little stuff with the body language, with acting. Um, a lot of directors are not meticulous in detail. They just let you have at it and see what you got. And I'm an extremely detailed director. So let me show you. When Rose, which is this woman here, she plays the role of Sophia. She asks her, do you have to leave now? You'll understand how urgent it is for Reese and her family to leave now with the emphasis on the body language and that's what i'm talking about so watch reese's body language when rose says do you have to leave now you're going to see your hands go in the air and that just adds to her reasoning as to why they have to leave and why it's so urgent all right so watch leave now yeah see that see the hands just come down like yeah it's really serious you know it's beautiful beautiful it's the little things like that that make you an incredible actor guys it's not just the lines and the tone that you're using it's stuff like that it's stuff like that so Oh, whoa. Am I all the way live? Let's see. Okay, so here we go. The infected get closer to us every day. <laughs> oh, man, we got to talk about Scott. Look at Mr. Reynolds himself, the makeup artist. Incredible. At first, we had some problems color grading this shot as well. This shot came out way too bright. I mean, it was way too bright, and I kept telling them, darken it, darken it, darken it, so you can see the detail in Scott's uh, 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 undershirt here that he's wearing and the skin it's just beautiful and they kept darkening it darkening it darkening it until we were able to achieve this and I just love the shadows in his face it's this is I, I don't know what to say about this this shot this is stunning to me I'm trying to get a clear clean shot oh, that's as good we're probably going to get it oh Reese and Brian are perfect together Reese and Brian are perfect together now Scott's face I mean dude the teeth you wouldn't believe it. I mean, this is just, this man right here can act. I, I, I'm telling you right now, I can tell from the audition, I said, Devin, this is him. This is Reynolds. I found him. And Devin said, are you sure? I said, I found him. I found the guy that's going to play Reynolds. I'm sure of it. It's him. Whatever we have to do to let this guy play the role, I'm going to do it. So we, we let go of about 15 to 20 other people and said, you know what? We got our guy. Scott came all the way from Texas, if I'm correct. Scott, correct me if I'm right or wrong. Or maybe Florida might be florida scott came from florida i think um and he played an awesome role for us i mean perfect Reynolds. you want to talk about creepy and aggressive wait till you see the movie guys he is um he's he's good the guy's good and a complete gentleman he's a complete opposite of what he portrayed and that's how you know you're a good actor once again i'm going to say it again it's the range that you can show range 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 um and ava i love you my friend i love you we're going to get to you is the range that you can show if you're a nice person in general and you don't have the range and you can't play a mean character, you're not going to get many roles because people love the fact that you have versatility, that you can show range. And Scott's a complete gentleman, you know, stays to himself, friendly, just just a sweet man, just a very, very nice man. And then when you say lights, camera, action, he turns into this beast here. And this guy is a monster, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, I didn't show too much of him in the trailer, showed a little, but rest assured, when you see the film, you're going to see some crazy stuff. Now, an action without... Let me see how I can say this. There's a reason why I put those backstories up. is to explain to you guys why these characters are doing what. Otherwise, it just wouldn't make any sense. Um, so, an action kind of without cause, it wouldn't make sense. It's irrational. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So, now that you know Scott's backstory... When you see the film, everything comes together. It makes sense. And we'll show that in the film. But it just makes sense now. You understand it. So that's why. So this gentleman's backstory. Let me get into the backstories. This gentleman's backstory is his wife fell sick to COVID. 
Um, he had a mom and pop shop. He lost the mom and pop shop, the restaurant in the local town. He had it for about 30 years with his wife. Um, unfortunately, because of business, cl business is closing down because of COVID-19. He had to uh, lose the shop and close the shop down. They didn't have much money coming in. His wife fell sick. He didn't have enough money to get the vaccine. Remember, this is 2030, guys. Keep in mind. He didn't have enough money to get the vaccine. So um, he eventually goes to the bank, tries to apply for some type of personal loan. Hopefully, they'll loan him something. His credit score is a 510, um, which is really bad. His, his credit score is a 510. He can't get the loan. And then he turns into a monster. So I try to create roles um, and, and, and create backstories where people can think and say, wow, what would I do if I was in those in that position? Uh, you know, and some people do. Some people in this world are in that position, man, where they don't have good credit scores, their family members dying. COVID is a real thing. People lost their lives to it. So I, I didn't want to just make a film that's just a horror film or another horror film. I wanted something that relates to real life. Um, and also, I should say this. I'm going to say this live now. Uh, Devin, if you're watching, this goes to you too. I'm going to be putting 10% of the proceeds from this movie um, to COVID. Survivors, victims, and people that fell sick to the sickness and lost families to it and jobs. I just want to donate to um, COVID. So 10% of the proceeds that we get from this movie, once contracts and distributions go out, two, three, four million, five million, whatever we get, and we close a deal, Lionsgate, Sony, whoever it is, I'm going to put 10% towards um, of my money, of course. I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not gonna take that from the actors or anything like that, but uh, I'm going to put 10% towards COVID uh, victims and families that were affected by COVID-19 because there's a lot of people going through it. So, yeah. So, this is a real serious thing. So, I tried to, you know, humanize Scott. Even though he's an antagonist, I want to humanize him. Because sometimes we, you know, basic movies, you're the bad guy's the bad guy, the good guy's the good guy. But if you kind of understand why the guy has a cause and a reason to do this, it's hard to choose who you like and dislike. And that is what I like about this movie. Is he bad now that you know his story? You, you don't know. You don't know now. It's up to you to choose. But anyway, his wife falls sick, tries to get a, the, the funds. He couldn't do it. He then goes on a rampage and starts killing and robbing people to raise enough money. He comes across a, Ross, a rich woman that he's about to murder. And then she tells him, I might have a cure. And um, she says, I might have a cure. And he, he gets pointed to, you know, in the right direction. And... You know, it, it, I'm trying to say it without telling you. I'm not going to tell you what happens. But anyway, yeah, he gets pointed in the right. I mean, the movie, dude, I'm, I just can't wait to show you guys the feature. Oh, this mind is racing. When I show you what I have planned, it is just incredible. And it, you're connected to it emotionally. Like I said, it's not just another Freddy Cougar movie or Child's Play with Chucky. You connect it to it because this is a real life guy that went through problems with his wife and his credit score. And he doesn't have the money. So it's like, dang, I kind of feel for this guy. That's why I love this film. But anyway, that's the feature version. You'll understand him then. So kind of look at this guy as a normal guy, not a monster. Like Ava said, his pretty eyes. That's in Ava said she's looking at your pretty eyes, Scott. So shout out to Ava for that. Let's keep going. Good rooks. All right. Wow. Talk about the gym. I got to hit the gym. I got to go back, guys. I have to go back. I feel bad. Look at these flapjacks of mine. This guy is ripped, man. This guy is ripped. Everyone meet my friend, Chevy. Um, Yeah. Yeah, he's ripped. So Chevy kind of came on set and assisted us as a... Chevy, what term would you use? A personal fitness coach? A trainer? Something of the sort. Um, just to get the actors in shape. And originally that wasn't even what was planned or, or you know, or negotiated between Chevy and I um, for his presence there to be there. But in just incredible. He did an incredible job. Incredible job. So he got there. He was supposed to help out. And I said, hey, you know what? That, that's what you do. That's your daily job. You help people get in shape. Get my actors in shape, my friend. Um, and, you know, he just loosened up Reese and um, what's the other And Adam. And I think he worked with a few other people. But... He did an amazing, amazing, amazing job. And yeah. So I said, Chevy, you did a good job. But listen, you're a ripped guy. Let's throw you in a scene. Let's throw some Vaseline on you. Let's get you in there. Bring the worst clothes you could possibly find. Just try to look nuts. And, you know, like I said, going back now, when you think in hindsight, it's like, man, I could have did a lot better. Um, as a director, you always think, you know, your work is never perfect as an artist. Um, and I, there's certain things I would have done with this shot and this scene if I can go back I would have gave him some dialogue. I would have put some makeup on him and probably made it seem like one eye was missing and he turns to the camera and says something or towards the camera. So just a whole bunch of stuff was racing in my mind that I could have done to enhance this shot. But it's beautiful still. 
Um, what I really would have liked is for someone to be sitting in the seat, in the back seat, dangling, like they got in a car crash and, and the car flipped. That's what I would have liked. I actually thought about that um, when we were up there, and I said, that's way too dangerous. We would need, we would definitely need, like, yeah, medics and different people on set. Uh, so, yeah, I really wanted to put somebody back there. That would have been sick just to see somebody sitting back there. But anyway, Chevy knocked those those windows clean out, clean out, clean out. So good job to you, Chevy. Working out definitely helped. You look good on camera. And you have another scene in the movie, guys, that a lot of people don't know. But Chevy has another scene in this movie, um, and it's incredible. I like it. I like it. I'm talking about the bottom of man. So let's go. I know you're scared, and you have every right to be. Sophie, you gotta trust me. Beautiful, right here. Um, this is artistry, P pure artistry. Once again, cinematography is gorgeous with this. Um, the silhouette, the silhouette, guys. He was even able to get rid of the old bent guys. The old guy loose. <laughs> Scott is funny, man. Dangling would have been dope, though. Yeah, dangling would have been really dope, Adam. But the silhouette in this shot. It is beautiful. Look at the shadows in Reese's face right underneath the cheekbone. Do you see that? And then you can see the light hitting. Oh, my Lord. This is just... Guys, this is... Oh, whew, beautiful. Now, if you look closely, there's one thing I really love about this shot. There's one thing I really, really love about this shot. Is the rainbow reflection or color coming off of the seats. Look closely, guys. Hold on. Put your head in the screen, baby. Come on. Look closely. Do you see those rainbow reflections sitting there? You see the rainbow color off of the seat? Right in the buttocks area? Uh, what, what part of the seat do you call that? Like, that's a weird name. Like, hey, what part of the seat is it where the butt goes, basically? But You see what I'm saying? You see the rainbow color coming off of that? That is stunning to me. And then the trees in the background and the outside. This is like a video game. This is like this is I swear, this is Grand Theft Auto. This is GTA right here. You're looking at it. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is I, I mean the apples, the pr production design is great. So shout out to Tim for the production design. Um I mean it's just incredible. It's incredible. Stunning, 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 stunning. Reese and, and you know another thing I like about this film we're going to talk about is the outfits. We didn't have a wardrobe person. It was literally me and the actors going through it. So I said, you know what? Show me what you got. And we just chose colors. I said, wear this, wear this, wear this. And they did it. And it just turned out so well. Reese's outfit, the bandana on uh, Sophia. It just Everything just worked out. This movie was made in heaven so far. And it's nowhere near done. Uh, and I'll get to the stuff I'm going to tell you at the end. But anyway, let's just keep the show on the road. Let's keep going. Sophie, you got to trust me. We're gonna get that vaccine to your father in time. In the meantime... Uh oh, here comes my friend, Good Roots. Here she is. The princess has entered the building. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take our hat off. Take it off, baby. For this young woman, Charlie Abbott, but also really known as Ava Torres. Incredible. Perform I, when I, and I'm not exaggerating, guys, just because it's a younger person, it's a kid. I swear to you. I am being 100% candid and truthful and frank when I tell you this young woman can act. Holy cow, guys, am I lying? This little girl can act her butt off, man. I, I swear, blew me away with her, her audition. I mean, man, I, I don't know. It's, it was just jaw-dropping, just jaw-dropping. Jaw-dropping, jaw-dropping performance. Ava Torres is no joke. Team Charlie, this girl can act. She really has a gift. I really, really believe it. I've been bragging about her before we started. I said Ava's going to be the one to steal the show. Very cute little girl, and she can act her butt off. And you want to talk about j just being polite and respectful. Her parents did an amazing job. I mean, she's just, dude, all around, so focused for it to be nine years old. And I worked with kid child actors before i mean this little girl she she is i, I mean I, i'm just blown i was blown away i literally was blown away i've been doing this for seven years i did 22 films three documentaries and now two feature films and i've never worked with somebody with this kind of um talent never as a child never nine years old incredibly polite listens pays attention 
incredible. If I was like this at nine, I'd be a billionaire right now. I swear, I'd be like Bill Gates or richer. So she's an incredible job, and she's going to go extremely far. And it's an honor to have worked with Ava Torres and her mom and her whole family. Just wonderful people, man. Wonderful people. And she's incredible. She's sleeping. So this is a pretty easy scene for her because she has a lot of high action pack scenes, and this was a cool one. And then comes the monster himself. But let's talk about the production design. This was tough because we didn't know what we were walking into in this house. Um, I, I mean, like I said, we locked up. We just got lucky with a lot of stuff, like the house and finding these toys. Some of this stuff was purchased, of course, like this pink. Uh, what do you call it? A, a ball over here, and the, the the bear, the coloring book. You know, we just try to spruce it up a little bit. I really like the heart pillow. Like where did we? This wasn't purchased. This just happened to be in the house. So we got lucky with stuff. The pink sheets. We try to add contrast in this scene because, as you can see, the room is very dull in one tone. Um, is just yeah we try to spruce it up and i think it worked it looked good you didn't we didn't add too much like lime greens we don't want any bright bright colors because that causes a distraction so you have to keep that in mind um when you're doing these kind of scenes and, and films and stuff like that so oh rose thank you very much wow mom is crying and eva is cheering we're a mess over here hey hats off to the torres family wonderful people we're going to be working together for a long time rest assured so yeah like i said we didn't want to we don't want to do something too crazy with this. We really, really didn't want to do something too crazy with this. Um, so let's see. Here comes the monster himself. Here we go. Beautiful. And let me explain what I like about this. So who are we referring to? Charlie. Without having to say, hi, I'm Charlie. We tell you who exactly Charlie is because you hear Reese's voiceover, which is Jen saying we need to protect Charlie. And then you see the person. That has to be Charlie. So naturally watching this, you would expect that to be Charlie. That's not going to be somebody named Bob or some other little girl. That's Charlie. And that's the beautiful thing about trailers. You have to tell the story without telling the story. And we did exactly that. So, yeah. Charlie. This is Charlie right here, guys. Meet her. Charlie Abbott. And uh, this right here, man. He, what a performance. And uh, I'll tell you guys some secrets. I'm just going to let some secrets out for the people that are on here. And whoever's in here... Hit the like button, guys. Let's get these likes up. The more you like it, the algorithm, YouTube algorithm shares this video more and other people get to view it. I want to spread the news about this, guys. Like I said, I want everyone to get an Academy Award from this film or at least go into a bigger production than mine. The whole point is to progress. So let's share this thing. Let's keep liking the like button. Hit that like button. Hit the thumbs up, guys. Let's share the video, share the video, share the video. All right, so that's that. So let's get into it. Hold on one second. Where did it just go? Oh, there we go. Okay, I lost you guys for a second. All right. So, man, it's a lot of speaking. I should have got a bottle of water. Now, this guy right here, his hands, as you can see, they're very dark. They look dirty. The reason for that is, uh, should I tell it? You know, I'll tell it because you guys are not going to see this movie until 2021 or something. So, well, whatever. I'll tell it. So, Troy's hands are... Um, dirty and black and all this stuff because Troy's specific job in this in this crew of his that he's in is to terrorize people but more so to set things and people on fire that is what Troy does in the feature version the very beginning of the film around I think 15 minutes 15 minutes in Troy is going to light um, I'm, I can't believe I'm about to tell the secret. This is crazy, but whatever. I'm just gonna say it. Troy, this is Troy, and he played. Uh, what's the guy's name, guys? What? Why am I forgetting my character's name? What is Troy's name in the film? Somebody help me out here. I'm, my head's all over the place right now. I'm the guy that created the characters. I don't remember. Oh man, what's his name? Someone help me out here. What is his name in the film? What is Troy's name in the film? He was barely creeped me out. My he creeped out my grown husband. That made me laugh. Uh, I forgot Troy's name in the film. Someone help me out. What is the guy's name? There we go. Boom. Reese, lead coming through with the answer. Troy's name is Harry. Harry Barbetto. It is Harry. There we go. Uncle Harry. He <laughs> said Uncle Harry. So, yes. Troy basically lights Rose's boyfriend. Rose, I'm going to speak about. You guys will see. I'll talk to Rose and Sophia. She, he lights Ro Sophia's boyfriend on fire in the beginning of the film, and we're going to throw him right in the pool, baby. We're throwing him right in the pool. So he lights him on fire, and then he gets pushed into the pool. So that's the first murder of the feature film that you'll see. 
it's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Those that are pissed off at me for ruining the secret, it's okay. People will forget. Trust me. Tomorrow, three days from now, people will be talking about something else like SpongeBob or the presidential election debate that's coming up. No one's going to remember this secret. So don't worry about it, guys. But Harry lights Sophia's boyfriend on fire in the beginning of the film. And that is why, if you see his hands, they're very dark. Um, he lights him on fire and, yeah. Yeah, you, you're going to see a lot of that. It's going to be gorgeous in a Los Angeles mansion. He lights him on fire. And that's the first scare of the film. Uh, I got a lot of secrets, I'm telling you, coming up in this film that's going to blow people away. And he, the way he lights him on fire is he's already tied to a chair right near the pool. He lights him on fire. And then, I don't, I'm not going to give everything away. There's some really, really cool stuff coming, I swear. If you guys thought this trailer was good, you're going to be blown away. I, I, I swear, I got some stuff in this head that's going to blow people away that, I, that I've never seen done in film. So they're going to light him on fire and Rose has a certain time period to go save his life. She can't because he's on fire and she can't untie him. She doesn't want to get burnt. So she just hits him, hits the chair and knocks him into the pool. And then we have the camera that's going to be inside the water, inside the pool. The camera will be inside the pool and you'll see the guy will be burnt to char in the pool. And that is the first kill of the movie, 15 minutes in, that I'm going to write, guys. And, I, and I'm telling you, when you see it, it looks better than what it sounds like. It's going to be gorgeous with the camera, the beautiful colors and the lights. And we'll be shooting through the pool. So you'll see the people outside the pool. Um, Scott and the crew and uh, Sophia playing roles have some incredible scenes coming up in the movie. Um, I mean, all of you do. Fight scene. I got some cool stuff. So we're going to be lighting somebody on fire. And I think that's awesome. So that's happening. That's going to happen. I promise you that. Let's keep going. Boom. The finger thing. How many of you love this finger thing? Who loved the finger thing? Someone tell me. Who enjoyed that? Who was expecting that? Who thought that was creepy? I loved it. I loved the finger thing. Who loved it? Waiting for those comments to run in, babe. The finger thing was so cool. Let me explain to you how that came about. Like I said, I'm a director that is very, 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 very detailed. Um, I just, yeah, dude, I, I just always want to be different. I always want to push my actors to the max. Um, I want to see what you're really made of, really, really made of. And I think I could have pushed you guys a lot more in this film. Um, and the feature, I'm going to push you beyond measure. I'm telling you, just get ready. You guys work with me so you know how I am now, but get ready for the feature. It's going to be no joke. I'm really going to push you above and beyond with the feature. Above and beyond. I'm going to have people crying and vomiting and in a good sense. Like I, I want you to use com all your energy. Just think of that as a good thing. It sounds bad, those of you that don't know, but I really want to pull everything out of you guys. I want, I mean, I want... I want you guys to be nominated for Academy Award. I really and don't see that as an exaggeration. Don't see it as that. If you see it as exaggeration, that doesn't that means you don't think it's achievable. You can achieve it. You anything's possible. If other humans achieved uh, getting Academy Award or became lawyers and doctors and officers, police officers, you can do the same thing. It's not impossible. So anything's achievable in this world. So I really want you guys to be the greatest actors ever to live. You have to view yourself as that. And if you don't think you're the greatest, you're in the wrong field. Or, I mean, yeah, you're basically in the wrong field. In this field, you have to because it's such a competitive field. So you have to feel like you're the greatest to ever do it. And I think the actors that I casted really are. So I'm going to push you above and beyond. Um, and that's why I think so many people were blown away with this trailer. Because the acting was stellar. Stellar. Stellar acting. Just incredible. So, let me... Freddy Cougar. It does remind me of Freddy Cougar. Yes! Who said that? Wes L. Yes, it reminds me of Freddy Krueger. That's what I thought of when I did it. So this is what happened. So we were standing up. Troy, initially, Harry, which is the gentleman with the green vest, was going to stand on the bed on top of the child and have the gun pointed to her face. And I couldn't think of anything else. And I said, that's a little boring. Let's not do that. Also, with camera angles, we want to see both faces in the frame. Frame is what we're seeing. Those that don't know. Frame is what we're seeing. So which is Charlie and um, uh, Harry. So I said, how could we see both frames and still do something cool? You know what I mean? Just pointing the gun to her head is two Jack Nicholson and Dave, Dave, uh, what's the guy from Die Hard? Bruce Willis. It's just too, yeah, just too boring, you know? So I said, what can we do to be different? So all of a sudden I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and I'm talking to him and I'm saying, Charlie, lay this way. And I hear Troy has these rings on. And I remember telling him, 
bring those rings and put them wrong on one hand. I, I designed and told him, put them on one hand. And all of a sudden, he's standing, he's standing there, and I hear Troy go, just click his fingers as, as his hands is by his thighs, just hang, dangling, and he clicks it. And I hear a clicking sound go, Tch! and I went, Troy, what did you just do? And he thought I was upset or something. He said, what? What are you talking about? I was like, no, what did you just do? I heard something. Did you just click your fingers? Do that again. And he clicked and he went, Tch! I said, that's it. That is it right there. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Sugar, I got it. That is it, baby. I got it. You're going to sit down. You're going to kneel on a bed. And you're going to click the fingers back and forth as you do it. And it's a kind of a, it's a beautiful introduction to the character. It shows you who he is. Um, and it's very creepy and unexpected. And that's what we wanted. And man, he nailed it. I said, just do it. And he just kept doing it. And I said, eventually you stop and then slowly proceed to, I can't tell you what he's going to do, but it gets crazy. But yes, that's how that came about. He was standing there. He was just relaxing. He clicked his fingers. I heard the click and I said, that's it right there. That's it right there. That's it right there. You're going to do that. You're going to do that. And then I said, just do it faster. And then at some point stop and we designed it. And then this came about, ladies and gentlemen, let's watch it. Gotta protect Charlie. Oh, Lord, that was beautiful. That was beautiful, man. Oh, if you hear, if you listen carefully, if you listen carefully, you can hear him clicking. And then you hear the echo when he stops like a snap on a soda pop, like on a soda bottle. And that's what I wanted. And that's what I told the sound guy. I said, make that click echo like a snap on, a, on a, when you snap the, the, what do you do? The, 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 the bottles, you know, bottle soda when you snap it. And yeah, man, it just it just came out well. Just tsh, let me show you again. Let me play. Hmm. Oh, oh. So to kill you. This is one of my. This is one of my favorite shots here, man. This is one of my favorite, 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 favorite shots. What do you say about Jen? Let me talk about Jen a little now. Um, the, the performance from this woman, man. Dude. Oh, man. And I kept saying it to Devin as well. I said, it's just like everyone. Everyone has a specific, like... Uh, it factor about them or quality that just is like man and Jen's quality Reese's one of her strongest attributes is her ability to just adapt it is just incredible she can just take information and just that Reese changes changes come out with your face more tighter run slower slide here and she just grabs it all like a computer and snaps she gets right into it and it's just fascinating her acting performance is incredible. It is really, really incredible. The facial expressions that she's doing. I mean, dude, man, look at this. The lady really looks like she's... Oh, I almost told you why she's running. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Can't tell you why she's running, but... I mean, just everything. You can see it. And, you, and the running, it, it seems as if she's running and she's out of energy or, or in fear of something. Just look at it. It's not a fast sprint. It's kind of like I'm tired. I've been in a big fight, or I'm hurt, or that's maybe that's someone else's blood. Hey, I didn't tell any secrets. Maybe she didn't fight. Maybe that's someone else's blood. Maybe she killed somebody. Maybe somebody killed somebody next to her. I'm just trying to spice it up for the viewers. But anyway, yeah. So look at this. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill your husband first. It's just man, the face expression, the crying, and then the big scream. Wow, look at that. What a scream. I loved it, man. That's it's funny I stopped at the exact frame, but just what a scream. Reese, hats off to you. In incredible job. I cast it wonderfully. Um, yeah, you did it. And it's funny, I don't know when we chose that outfit. I don't remember that. But it's funny it goes with the shutters in the house. On the house. So that I like. That I like. It goes with the shutters in the house. I really think that's cool. So the green the thing is just amazing. And yeah, everything worked out well. Just worked out well. All right, so let's keep playing. Ooh, 
Adam Holly coming through with Mike. This scene was sick. This is a lot of... So for a lot of people, this is their favorite scene in the film. This fight scene that happens. This is a lot of people's favorite scenes. Uh, scene in the film. This fight scene was... Um, the fight scene itself... The fight scene itself was very hard. I, I mean, Adam, what would you say? What would you... For me, I guess it was late. I don't know. We had a long day when we did this. So I guess for me, I was exhausted from screaming and thinking so much in detail. I was really... Oh, Devin had to buy the tank. Okay, Devin bought the tank. But Brian, how did you feel about this fight scene? I was um, I was exhausted. I was exhausted. This was at the end of the day, dude. We went 13 hours, I think, at this point, and we had to pull the fight scene off. But these two... And that's why I said. I just casted the perfect people, man. Dude, I, I remember. It, they're so perfect. It came to a point where it was like, dude, am I ever going to get to work with people like this again? Because, you know, I got my next movie I'm doing. I'm like, God, let me cast people like this. Like, so polite, so friendly, just gentlemen and ladies. That, I mean, oh, my God, dude. It was, man, what an experience, man. What an experience, man. What an experience. They did this fight scene. I don't, I don't know how many times you practiced this, Brian. How many times you practiced this fight scene. You did it about maybe 12, 13 times, but they perfected it. Um, thank God I brought the shotgun. Guys, that's not a real shotgun. None of the, the weapons that were used on this set um, were uh, real, just to let everyone know. But it looked just so incredible. The choreography was just incredible. His facial expression, the hair, the, the cuts. Mike, I love the shadows. I mean, this is it. This is it doesn't get better than this. This is it. I, I, and the fight scene is really good. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. Can we make this an ease? And if you notice, the way I did it with the cut, I wanted to come into the camera when it cuts. So what do I mean? You'll see Adam is coming towards us. He's coming towards the screen, towards us, the viewers. So look carefully. And that is the transition out. So a lot of this stuff you guys may see and go, wow, that was incredible. But it's little tricks that we're using in between to spruce up the trailer. And it's all editing, guys. And um, I edited this trailer and went in thinking, I got to spruce this thing up um, and make it really cool. And it was tough. And I'll explain why at the end. Um, but let me show you. Look how he comes towards the screen and the screen goes black. And then it goes to the next scene shot. So look carefully. Did you see that? It came towards the screen, then it goes black. Now this, the gentleman, obviously it's a giveaway. He's begging for his life. It's really good, man. I mean, there's really nothing to say about that. That shirt is actually purchased at Target. It's probably going to be a legendary shirt after this is done. So guys, go purchase that shirt now before it sells out. That is going to be a legendary shirt. I'm telling you right now. Brian, your shirt's going to be legendary. Yeah, it definitely shows. It definitely did. It definitely did. They did an incredible job. Incredible job. Easy and clean transaction. Now, here we go. Here we go. It was great working with Mike. He had me feel super safe. I complete trust and he was always in going to show. Yeah, Mike was incredible. Both of you guys are incredible. Now, here we go. One of my favorite shots. Um, Reynolds, nice clean shave, by the way, man. I don't know. What are you using, Gillette? Looks good, though, man. It looks good. You might be using Gillette on that head because that looks clean. You see the light in the back of Reynolds' head? Looks really, really, really good. The singlet is dirty. We dipped it in like some old um, tea. Um, buy stock and Target. <laughs> he said buy stock and Target. That's funny. So, yes, it looks good though. I just love it. I like even the little bracelet that he's wearing. It's cool. The hands is dirty. Now, in my script, I was going to say lick her ear. But then I said, my nah, y'all, you may be going too far. I don't know. And it's funny because he said to me, hey, I was going to lick her ear. And I'm like, yes, that's what I was going to tell you to do. But I thought I was going too far. So I guess I'm not going too far. Go ahead, do it. And thank God, Reese, you were okay with it. Um, but yeah, of course, we did it in a tasteful manner. And dude, it came out really well. And you can see Brian in the background. He can't do anything. Can't, you know, just to be in that position. You can't save your wife because you have a shotgun to your throat. And, yeah, it's just incredible. You, 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 the, the, the viewers get to choose what they want to watch. That's the beauty of this shot. You can either watch Scott with Reese and he's going to look at ear. Or you can look behind them and see what's going on with Brian 
and um, might, and and that's what I that's what I love. That's what I love. Those are the shots I love that have multiple characters in it, um, or three or four, whatever. So you can choose who you want to watch. It's just so tasteful. So it's beautiful, and I love the contrast in this shot. Gorgeous job. What do you want? So now the reason I put that shot is because we saw all this chaos going on, and nobody knows what this guy wants. We don't know what he wants. He's licking his wife's ear. He says, do I have to kill your husband first? You see Brian fighting with this other guy. You see he's, Jen say, we have to protect Charlie. At this point, it's like, okay, what do you guys want? And thank God we had him say that um, in the actual movie. So I said, you know what? Let's put it in a trailer. Let's let him. Remember, his question is the question that the viewers want to know. Uh, it's a question that the viewers are asking. They want the answers to. So that's why I let him say that. We have all this chaos almost at the end of the trailer. What the hell do you want? And that's why he says that. So that's why I put that in there when I edited this. Reese looks fearful and the camera slides as Scott slides to that side. Watch. What do you want? Beautiful. Now, now what do you want? The trailer, you don't need to always have someone speak or say what they want. You just show it. And then you can put it on top. <laughs> Reset in the back of my mind. Good choice. This is beautiful. As you can see, you have Rose in the background. Rose plays Sophia. We're going to get to her character very soon. And you have the beautiful Charlie, 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 my friend. Like I said, the woman can act. She's acting right now. The little girl can act, and she's doing it right now. Her and her mom, her and her, her mom and I chose that shirt for her to wear, and I think it was a beautiful choice just because of the colors in this scene. Now, let's talk about Sophia a little. Sophia is played by uh, Mary Rose Parsons. Let me just fill you in. Um, there's another character or actor that was supposed to play the role of Sophia. Unfortunately, due to some um, unfortunate events, that actor had to step down. And now Sophia, filled the, Sophia which is played by Rose, filled the role. Um, and she came in, I think, is about a, a week before or two weeks before. Uh, Rose, I don't remember. Can you, if you can recollect, let us know. I don't know if it was two weeks before or I was so happy you chose that line because you said it was... It was my weakest line. I worked so hard to get that right. So you put in the trailer for like, yeah, no, nah, you did. So like I said, um, Adam's basically saying, um, Rose, while we're waiting for your answer, just let us know, um, you know, how long you stepped in, how soon you stepped in uh, before the film started. But Adam is saying, so I'm very honest with my actors. If you're bad, you're bad. If you're good, you're good. Because I think in life, if people always pat you in the back and tell you you're amazing, you're never going to get better because no one's perfect. And we, we need to, you can try to be perfect, and the more you try to be perfect, the better you get at something. So I'm very honest. Wouldn't You wouldn't let me get away with anything other than it being perfect. Exactly. So I don't just let things slide. Like, all right, we don't have time. It's okay. Just let's go. Let's go. I don't do that. Because at the end of the day, it's going to show. My name's on it, and the actor's name is on it as well. So I want to make sure we both look good. And in order to do that, repetition is the key to perfection. Point blank period in anything you do, whether that's school, directing. Like I said, it took me 22 movies, three documentaries to get here. This is my 23rd. So actually, 24th or 5th, whatever. So it, it took a long time. Um, repetition is key. And I told my actors going into this, guys, I'm telling you I'm going to push you and you're going to do it over and over until you get it right. And I told Brian, honestly, that's your weakest line, buddy. You got to work on that. And he did it. He did it, man. He did it the way he said it. What do you want? And that was perfect. So that's what he's referring to. Back to Rose. I don't know if Rose got the question, but Rose stepped in about maybe a week before we started. And I, like I said, I'm a very honest and sometimes I can be a very hard director. And I told her, honestly, this is no good. Do this. And I just had a, a bunch of personal rehearsals with her a week before she had to learn half of a feature, her lines for 30 minute film. And she knocked it down. So hats off to Rose Parsons. She really, really knocked it down. And you guys will see this is in the trailer. We don't really show what she can do. And you'll see in the film. Um, she has a scene, the opening scene. You guys know what I'm talking about. Those of you that saw the street scene where she shined. And the woman is incredible at acting, in my opinion, to come on last minute. Um, she, she's going to go far. She has a long career ahead of her. I, I really believe so. The acting was good. And like I said, I don't approve stuff until I think it's perfect. And you guys will see. You, if you love the trailer, the, this is nothing compared to, obviously, the real deal. So let's keep playing. Here comes my little friend. So the whole reason I put this shot in it is because he says, uh, Crash Course Advanced Acting by Director and Coach Yao. He <laughs> said, Coach Yao. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Now, the reason why I put this shot is because... He says, what do you want? I tried to find the cutest shot of Charlie. The cutest shot. 
So when when an old man that looks creepy like this, and he's licking someone's ear and disgusting and vile, says and and Brian asks, "What do you want? What do you want?" And then you show the cutest thing in the world. Oh, you wanted me, uh, daughter. It's scary. It's scary. That old man wants to take the daughter, and now things start running through your head. What does he want her for? What does he want to do? Is he going to hurt her? Is he going to do something else? Is he going to sell her? Is he going to kill her? So, you, you know, it, it just scared people. I thought that'd be beautiful. We had some other shots that we were debating between, and I think this was the best one with Charlie smiling, those plump peach cheeks of hers, and then Reese, her mom, consoling her and talking to her. You see Reese's hair, the contrast in it. I think it was just a beautiful shot. And then in the foreground, you have Rose in the background which is Sophia, the red handkerchief making everything pop. If you take the red handkerchief away, you can see one everything is one tone, and I didn't like that. So that's why I told her to wear the color red, and then red against blue, obviously American colors, you can't beat that. Red and blue looks perfect together with the contrast. So it, it, it looks good, man. It looks good to me. The red popped, um, and everything just looked good. With the sunlight coming in through the window, it's just, I mean, you can't beat it, man. And her eyes, Ava's eyes, Ava's just cute, man. It just, it just worked. It just worked. And you actually believe that's her mom because Reese kind of has a similar hair tone to the, to the daughter. So it worked out well. Daughter. And the way he said daughter was just like, oh, it made you cringe. Like, oh, no. That means he wants the little girl. And the last shot, ladies and gentlemen, he wants a daughter. What's going on now? What are they going to do? This shot came about. It was very arbitrary. I said, guys, let's go outside and do a trailer shot. I got an idea. And this is what I thought about. I wanted to really show the beauty of our scenery that we were at. Um, and I said, how can I utilize this, man? I got to show more of it. Because this was just a beautiful area. The trees, the sunlight. And you couldn't beat it. I said, let's do it. This is what we're going to do. And I just thought about it while we're shooting another scene. And this was literally last minute. This was not scripted. The trailer was not scripted. Just last minute, we jumped in. I said, yo, I'm going to do this shot for the trailer. And this is how I knew I would close it. And I did it. So right now, he says, I wanted a daughter. Daughter is who? Like I told you, Charlie. Charlie, we see Charlie's face in the previous shot. You see her smiling, her cheeks. And now we cut to Charlie alone. So now you're thinking, okay, he wants Charlie. This is the girl he's talking about. And now we show you may want her, but she has some friends of hers. Her parents, Brian and Jen Abbott. Here they are. And that's why you see the music change because it's, it's still scary at this point when she's alone meaning uh oh he wants charlie charlie may get caught she's gonna she's alone right now the music changes once we see her parents indicating this girl has some protection a war is underway ladies and gentlemen the cure game is coming and that's what it means that's why i did this shot to show that she has some backup she has family she has protection or does she those of you know what i'm talking about know what i'm talking about but she has some protection her family's there to protect her she's not alone and that's why the music changes when you see brian and jen there you go ready babe he says are you ready ready for what no one knows is it for scott and his crew which is reynolds and them is it for something else we don't know and i want to leave that question in the air and i love the fact that he said are you ready babe charlie as you can see I, i'm telling you she's a natural i didn't instruct her to look at both people she did it on her own she looked at her dad when he said you're ready babe then jen turns i told jen to nod at brian jen ready, nods babe. at brian Charlie looks the other way, beautiful. And then after that, I said, guys, you're all gonna walk forward. And I'll post the, the video of me directing them, which I think is really cool. Cause like I said, all of us just randomly um, came outside and did this. And I said, guys, let's just go do this real quick. So this is really like a five minute scene. We try to beat the sun and try to catch it before it went down. And we did that. So watch Jen nods at him, indicating she is ready. And all three soldiers look forward. Beautiful. And they all walk off. Sunlight is beautiful back of Brian's shirt. Reese is holding the shotgun beautifully, ready to point and shoot. Brian has it in one hand, very cool, relaxed James Bond style. And the little girl feels protected because mom and dad are on the right and left of her. And that is the end of Yao As World's second feature film trailer, The Cure Game. And let me explain the lettering. Lastly, as you can see, my name was blurry with Yao As Pong. And the cure game was blurry with Yao Adspong. The reason why I blurred it out, I created this name title and I did some designs, whatever. The reason why I did that is because the cure game. Cure meaning what? The cure is a consequence of a sickness or finding a cure vaccine to heal someone. So I made the sides blurry, like the sides of the lettering or the sides of the screen were sick and distorted and messed up. 
but the middle, the word cure, is clear because cure is something positive. So that's why. So if you see in the cure game, um, you can see it's blurry because the sides are sick and distorted and it's not good. And the middle cure is clear. And that's why I did that with my name. If I can pull it up, as you can see here, my name is blurry over here because the side is sick. Cure game, messed up. And uh, that's why we have the same thing at the end same title sequence ladies and gentlemen and that is the end of the trailer review now I'm gonna take some questions what would you like to ask the most amazing shot I love it love the view I love the view too man so you guys want to ask any questions before I tell you what's to come before I get into the last segment of the evening is there anything you'd like to ask beautiful and I'm just gonna leave it on this this shot so we can all see. So is there any questions you guys want to ask? Go ahead and ask now before I get into the last segment. I'm gonna give you two minutes to generate some questions. <sighs> Charlie's fist. Oh yeah, balled up. Rose said replay. Alright, I'll replay it, dude. I love it. So you guys want to... Okay, so I'll replay it, and I guess that'll help you generate some questions. And then if you don't have any questions within two minutes, guys, just dump your questions in now if you have any. Um, and then I'll tell you what's to come. What's, go, what's the next steps. Do you have any rounds left? Oh, I don't know. Look, either you do it or you don't. Jay. I don't know, Brian. How many people do you expect me to fucking shoot? All right, I'm sorry. Oh. All right, I'm sorry. Oh. Get back. Do you need to leave now? Yeah, the infected get closer to us every day. <sighs> I know you're scared, and you have every right to be. So if you gotta trust me, we're gonna- Oh, that's another thing. Let me just add, I love how when she says, Sophie, you gotta trust me, she looks away, indicating I don't trust you. I just love that. Guys, it's the subtle stuff, the subtle stuff, but let's keep playing. Get that vaccine to your father in time. In the meantime, we gotta protect Charlie. So, do I have to kill your husband first? Or can we make this an easy and clean transaction? What do you want? I always wanted me a daughter. You ready, babe? Hmm. Wow, what a performance. My best work yet, man. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, taking questions. What's up? What's some questions you got, you folks got? Do you have any questions for me before I close out? And uh, yeah, before I close out, hold on. I know y'all ain't even know. Oh, okay, I was about to say. Yeah, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions, guys? I'm taking questions now. Hit that like button, guys. We got 15 people in here. Hit the like button so we can share it. Just hit it. Whoever it is in here did not hit it. Hit the like button, please, so we can share it. Let me tell you what's to come. I'm going to close out. I just want to tell you some closing goodies or news, whatever you want to call it. But let me um, let me hear. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. All right. I just want to make sure my music wasn't too loud. The Cure Game, Adam Holly. What's your favorite part of making the trailer? Oh man, the favorite part. My favorite part about making the trailer. It's the first look. I think that's my favorite part. The, my favorite part about making the trailer was the first look. This is what people are gonna see. I love making trailers. I love it. That's one of the things I look forward to the most. Um, because you get to play with it. It's it, you know, uh, and create the music and the and you get to surprise people I, I think that i think that's what it is just the storyline of the trailer because it's a new storyline that i did not write but now i'm going to be writing my trailers because that was unbelievably difficult i'm not going to do that again 
um, which was the toughest part the toughest part was the color grading the color grading the color grading the color grading was tough I had to kept I had to keep calling this guy 2 a.m. I'm up 3 a.m. dozing off sitting right here dozing off on my huge computer with this system here and these screens I'm dozing off and I'm zooming the colorist and we're going back and forth and I got my audio guy here and then I let him set up over there and just crazy stuff man that traveling back and forth and yeah the color grading the color grading was so hard and you got to keep in mind what the colorist is viewing on his screen is different from the color that I'm viewing on my screen so the way color grading sessions usually go you have to go to the studio with the colorist and we did that we went to the studio I have some pictures and then we switched to this color grader and so I'll post some pictures but it was just tough traveling to Brooklyn back and forth and getting this thing done for one minute um, it literally took five six days of color grading for a one and a half minute trailer so that was the hardest will there be a trailer 2 when the film starts happening again yes Ashley Torres there will be a trailer 2 another surprise that you guys don't know about I'm just gonna say it now 80% chance probably I should say 100% but nothing in life is guaranteed but 80 to 90% chance that you ladies and gentlemen will be working with a Hollywood actress um, or, or actor we're getting Devin and I are working on some stuff um, and Rose Devin will fill you in um, but yeah so contact Devin about that Rose as an EP but yes we're, you mo nine out of ten times I'm telling you, you're gonna be working with a Hollywood actress in this and we want to showcase the actor and display them whether that's Neil Long Paula Patton which is Robin Dick's ex-wife if you guys don't know who that is um, there's a whole bunch of stars that we're looking at and we've been talking to and once this trailer came out the phone does not stop ringing or I mean a lot of good stuff is happening right now a lot producers contacted me and people calling me so we're gonna be putting a Hollywood actor or actress in this film which is the other family like I said there's one family that comes from inner cities which would be African American family Brian Jen and Charlie a Caucasian family both come from different worlds seemingly seem like they're different people but when they come together they realize they have a lot more in common than they thought and they have to work together to try to get Charlie back uh, yeah it's deeper than what you guys it is just so sick this the feature oh my god I can't wait to I do this feature film I'm telling you guys are gonna be blown away you're gonna be blown away but Dev and I are working on some stuff. So yes, there's gonna be a Hollywood actress in this film that we're working with. We're gonna be working with um, uh, Naomi um, Harris from 007, the new James Bond. We're thinking of her. We're thinking of the possible um, Emmy Award winning. I forgot her name. She was just on Ratchet with Sarah Paulson. I was actually thinking of getting Sarah Paulson. I'm thinking of casting Rosaria Dawson. If you guys don't know who she is, go check. She was on Luke Cage. Rosaria Dawson's a legendary actress. Um, so there's a lot of people that we're playing with in thinking of messaging the agents and we're in contact with some of these agents is looking really good so far so we're going to throw a hollywood actor or actress in this film and reese and, and and adam and scott and rose you guys will be working with a hollywood actress in this film so yes we're going to do a second trailer because we have that person and we want to showcase them um yeah all right so let's see what other questions do you have what what was your favorite scene to write what was your favorite scene to film my favorite scene to write was my favorite scene to write was um what do you call it um what is the scene the scene with scott in the thing i love scott's one of my favorite characters in this film um because it's a man that's in pain and he uses his pain to torture others and has no remorse for people because of what he went through and um, a lot of times that's why people commit crimes and us as a society just see people commit crimes and judge them and say they're criminals or horrible people um, depending on the crime though like I said depending on the crime but sometimes you know and there's no justification for hurting anybody in this world that's obviously a bad thing but sometimes we have to put the shoe on the other foot and see if you lost everything if you were in pain how would you react and that's why I love doing movies that makes people think not just slashers with people with knives chasing people I want you to think, 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 think. Is Scott really that bad? He couldn't get a loan from the bank. His wife is on the verge of dying. What do you expect him to do in a pandemic where the stores are closed down, people are robbing, looting, there is no order anymore, police officers are gone, everyone's just, it's every man for himself now. What would you do? And that's why I created Scott, and I love it. I created Reynolds, rather. And so Reynolds' scene inside the house was my favorite to write when he was doing all that stuff and, you know, insulting you guys. My favorite to film Reese was your running scene with Brian. You know what I'm talking about. That whole thing outside. That whole thing outside was my favorite to film. Lord, that was sick. 
that was sick 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 um yeah that was really sick and the street scene with sophia with rose those are my two favorite to film the running scene with brian and you outside and um the street scene with sophia in the beginning was just and you'll see why i said that when you see the 30 minutes so let's see what is another question we have who which director was your most inspirational in making which director uh, honestly me i i um yeah i yeah i can't lie to you i don't when i when i make films i don't think of other directors i think of me because i feel i have a unique style i'm very weird and very very my writing is very malicious and dark uh, but at the same time it makes you think so i always think of me i don't really think of anyone else as a director or try to take anyone's style um i kind of created my own style with doing all these films i kind of fostered my own style um with being very meticulous like i said in detail so i just think of me i think of I kind of humanize myself. I don't think of myself as this big godlike director and oh, I know it all. And I just humanize myself and put myself in the viewer's shoes um, because I'm very, I'm a very, very, very critical when I watch films. I critique them like to the T, to the bone. So I put myself in my shoes. If I was watching this movie, does Adam's acting look real right now? Does Reese's acting look real? Would I believe it? Would I say, nah, that was bad. I don't like this lady's acting or that's bad. I don't want to watch this movie anymore. So. What 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 do I want to see? And that's how I start directing. Like, no, do this, change this, change this. Let me believe you. Do it over again until I believe you. Then I'm like, okay, if I saw this movie at home, oh, I would love this movie. Yeah, she can act. She's good. And then when you start, with, especially when you get chills and goosebumps and you really feel it, that's how you know the actors did a good job. So that's what. I, yeah, I just think of me. Yeah, I don't think of anyone else. But there are directors that influence me: Scorsese, Tarantino, Spike Lee. Um, 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 Nolan, Fuqua, Spielberg with his sci-fi film. So there, there are people that influences. Everyone gets influenced in some way, shape, or form. Um, let's see, what else we got? Which director do you think of most? I love the third party. Thank you. That is awesome. Nice. Woohoo. Rosario is awesome. Yes. Wow. All amazing actors. When you when you make the add-on scenes next year, will you continue from adding? from the ending scene yes yeah, so what i'm doing for when we 2021 was we're planning to shoot this movie guys we're planning to go out there 2021 and shoot what we shot already is the middle of the film now what we have to do is the beginning of the film and the ending of the film the beginning of the film and I'll, like i said I'll, you guys are here on the live i'm just going to give you a little bit of secrets so rose which is playing Sophia Oliveira, is a snobby bank owner. Her family's wealthy and owns a whole bunch of banks, a chain of banks. She's very, very snobby and she's very rich. We have to shoot her area. We're gonna rent a car for her, whether that be a Ferrari, Lamborghini, or Mercedes Benz, but I wanna get a convertible car for her to rent for the film, and we're gonna just show a rich lifestyle. She has a mansion in Los Angeles. The movie starts in LA. Um, we wanted that contrast from LA to what you've seen in the trailer, that country area, so it makes it seem like but I can't tell you why, but you'll see why there's a vast difference. So we want to start in somewhere that looks completely different. LA has the palm trees, the streets, the beautiful stores, Melrose, the cars, everything. The money is LA and New York. We know that. And then you got the country area, which is vastly different. So that's why I'm shooting in LA. So we're going to get Rose some fancy stuff. You're going to see her in beautiful outfits, hair done, um, jewelry, the fast cars. Uh, we're going to get... Um, the house is, has to be phenomenal. I mean, just a, a beautiful overview with an infinity pool looking over Los Angeles horizon. And so that's the opening scenes. And then you have that beautiful scenery and then something changes. I can't tell you what, but the darkness comes into the town. The people that, that, are, bottom, that are at the bottom of the barrel, that are treated bad in society, that already didn't have money and health care, now make their way into this world in town because there's no more order. Police officers are gone. This chaos and we know without control or rule everything gets chaotic in this world so now with everybody being gone and every man for himself and this pandemic took over rose and everyone that is wealthy and protected in these neighborhoods is everyone for himself now there's no more wealth money is not a commodity anymore there's nothing there's nothing everything's a barter system now you take these pots and i'll take the spaghetti from you but if i take the spaghetti and you take my pot i can't cook the spaghetti that's just me talking crazy but you guys get what I'm saying. Your boyfriend, Rose, hey, don't get greedy. Who you want, Ben Affleck? Do you want Christian um, Christian Bale? 
Or maybe I'll get you somebody like um, Danny Glover is going to be your boyfriend in this movie, Rose. He's like 80 years old, but take him. He's good enough. Trust me. I'm just joking with you. We're going to get somebody good for you. We'll get, we'll get you a nice looking guy. <laughs> we'll get you a nice looking guy. He dies anyway. He gets burnt. We might get you Danny Glover for real. Who knows? An 80 year old boyfriend? That might be a cool twist. Rose is probably scared right now. Like, Danny Glover is my boyfriend? No way. That dude's like 90. All right. So let's keep saying. So, yes. Yeah, so we're going to do the beginning and then we're going to do the end where. I can't tell you, but yes, we're going to do the end. Jen and Brian, blah, 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 with somebody else. Yeah. Henry Cavill, no way. You're getting Danny Glover. The best I could probably do would be Clint Eastwood for you. Do you want Clint Eastwood to be your boyfriend? Let me know. Comment yes. Comment yes. If you want Clint Eastwood, comment yes. That might be your boyfriend. So let's see. All amazing actions. When will you make the ending scene? Okay, so yes, individuality. Is it true Ava made you tear up a bit, Yao, during film? She says you did without giving any... I teared teared up in which which sense in laughing or crying as I don't remember myself being emotional. Hmm. Laughing she did. Yeah, lethal weapon, but he's like ninety years old. I don't know if you want him to be your boyfriend, but your boyfriend dies anyway. But you do have to. You are. I'll tell you this: you're going to dinner with your boyfriend in the movie Rose in a beautiful rooftop um, restaurant. I'm giving too much away. I'm giving too much away. But you will be going to dinner with your boyfriend in a rooftop restaurant, and you'll be joined by Jen. And Brian in the movie rooftop restaurant Los Angeles with a beautiful view. We're shutting down a whole restaurant in Los Angeles. I got a lot of surprises for you guys in the feature. I don't want to give too much away. I'm talking too much. This is not good. I should probably delete this live once this is done because I think I gave too many secrets away. I got a big mouth. Um, Clint is awesome and so is his son. Okay, so uh, Ava did make me tear up laughing. I don't remember crying emotion, but Ava is funny, man. She's so funny to me. So yes, I teared up laughing. Ava's funny, man. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that like button. Let's see. Can you play it one more time before you go? I love knowing we are all here watching together. Okay, I'll play it before I go. I'm almost closing out anyway. Will Chevy have more scenes? Chevy will not have more scenes, unfortunately. Chevy was like a day player. Um, and it wasn't even our intention to cast Chevy in this film. Chevy's just a longtime friend of mine. I respect him. I admire his work ethic. Um, a true man, um, a man's man. And he's just, he's a hardworking guy. And I said, Chevy, come along and help us out. He said, yes. And as he came along, his role slowly increased um, in, in terms of being a part of this production. And he had no problem with anything. So that led to him getting a role. And uh, I'll touch on that furthermore, but just to say, that's why you don't know what opportunity awaits you. That's why you don't decline things. That's why decline certain things. That's why you don't burn certain bridges. And that's why you always respect people, man, um, because you don't know what opportunities can be presented to you. Um, and Chevy was always respectful, classy person, and he got that role. Now, will I be working with Chevy in the future? Yes, I actually will be talking to um, Chevy about something a little day player role something cool though I, I like his acting I'll admit and I think I can I can do something with his acting so yes There's a Chevy if you don't know about it I have my next movie is called in money we trust and ladies and gentlemen that is my greatest work to date I wrote that movie in 2017 and until now I've never written a movie that is better or even came near that level of writing um, creatively um, that movie is, it's my greatest work to date and you'll see when I do that. That's my next film. Uh, I have another project that I just booked. That's, we're editing that right now. So you'll see that one. But my next narrative film, 2021, 2022 is called In Money We Trust. And it's about organ trafficking, organ trafficking. People are being kidnapped from a certain neighborhood and their organs are taken. And a kid in that neighborhood unknowingly gets involved in organ trafficking. Incredible story. We're trying to cast William Defoe for the one of the roles. Ladies and gentlemen, literally Oscar award winning movie and you will see it is my greatest work. It's called In Money We Trust. It's coming next after The Cure Game. Um, but I'm going to talk to Chevy about a certain scene that I'll be in. I'm just making an appearance. I'm getting a tuxedo. Chevy, you want to jump in with me? I think we should do it. So Chevy, if you want to do that, yes. But Chevy will be back in Los Angeles um, because of Chevy's behavior. Um, on set and just the love and respect that he showed me and everyone else um, I invited Chevy to come back with us to Los Angeles to finish this feature and he'll be behind the scenes helping me Chevy's gonna be my right-hand man along with Devin and we're gonna be getting this thing done so Chevy agreed thank you very much Chevy will be back in Los Angeles with us for the 10 to 13 day stay that we'll be going there for so let's see can you play one more time yes I will, will Chevy have more scenes yes he'll be helping us behind the scenes and he'll be coming um, He'll be coming, where's he come? In Money We Trust, my next movie, which is coming next. So that's already written, we're getting prepped for that. We actually have a, uh, we actually have a few movies, uh, meetings already lined up for Money We Trust, so that's a good thing in LA. 
Who's my boyfriend? Danny Glover, I told you. Henry Cavill, Clint Eastwood, I'm sorry. Rose, laugh out loud. I love Danny Glover and Lethal Weapon. Yes, Clint is awesome, so is his son. Adam and Reese, I'm so excited. Reese, Rose, me too. Oh no, I'm having a heart attack over here. Don't have a heart attack, don't worry. You're gonna be okay, Reese. You are incredible. Don't worry about it, you're fine. I feel it, Reese, me too. Heart attack for what? Wait, why are you guys getting nervous? Chevy was awesome. I'm his agent. Oh, you're his agent? Are you really? Oh, wow. Oh, uh, woohoo. Yes, Chevy's such a gentleman. Yes, I love his positivity. He was raised very well. Yes, he was. He will agree. This is awesome. Love Chevy. Perfect. So I think that's all the questions. I'm going to play it again. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me tonight. I have a headache. I'm going to run to some time all after this, but that's pretty much the trailer. We're going to be meeting in. I had my appendix out when I was a kid at that house. Not sure if they sold it. Not in <laughs> Yo, Adam is crazy. <laughs> Yo, that is funny, man. Nah, um, yeah, that movie's really cool. But, um, yeah, so lastly, I'm just going to close out with this before I play the trailer and then I'm going to close out the whole live. Guys, we're meeting in Los Angeles, California in November next month. Uh, November 6th, the 5th, we'll be arriving. Some of us are meeting up then uh, just to, you know, see each other, get, get acquainted with each other again, the 5th. And November 6th is the big premiere. That's a lot of talking. Hold on. November 6th is the big premiere. I hope everyone's going to be there. It's mainly for investors, but the actors are able to come and bring a plus one like we told them. Ladies and gentlemen, become your best dressed. My suit is being tailored as we speak. I can't wait to see you all. It's going to be incredible. We're going to get to laugh, talk, and you get to see the full product. Not the full product, but a third of what we what we shot. You get to see what we shot. Um, the 30 minutes, which I think you'll be blown away. One person so far has seen the 30 minutes and he was speechless speechless and i think you guys will be as well and i'm just gonna sit there and sip on some cranberry juice and watch you watch it and hope you all enjoy it until then ladies and gentlemen let's play this trailer one more time and close out my name is yao adspong writer director and editor of this film and uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of me um we already have some articles that came out on the film and you'll be seeing a lot more coming up in the days to follow uh, apart from that i hope you like the music i hope you like my shirt and I hope you like my film. Here we go. One more time for ladies and gentlemen in this room and the kids that are watching the trailer for The Cure Game. And I'll close out and I will see you guys in Los Angeles, California. I got a lot of stuff to tell you guys. Uh, I can't say it here on live, but I got a lot of stuff to tell you. I'm going to break down the film. Oh, man, I got some sick stuff for this feature. I got to start writing it. I got to finish this 30 minutes and I got a lot of work to do. But guys, trust me, I'm working for you guys. I want you guys to grow, grow, grow. And I want to see you guys become big Hollywood actors where we're just meeting. I can pick up the phone, call Reese. Reese, summertime, I need you. New movie. Okay, yeah, I'm on it. Adam, Rose, new movie. Ava, summertime. I just, you know, that's the kind of relationship I want to foster. And they have that in Hollywood. That's the kind of relationship they have with their actors. And I want to do the same thing. Chevy, hey, we're back, man. Devin, we're going to Los Angeles. We got a new movie. So... I want to see you guys grow, man. I want to see you guys get into Hollywood films. And hey, Rose has a new movie coming out. Adam has a new movie coming out, a bigger film. And that's the whole point, man. I like to operate on a family-based or oriented manner. And it worked. So thank you guys very much. Here is the trailer. And after that, I'll be closing out. Yow. Peace out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is the music still playing? The music should not be playing. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. <sighs> Let's do it, ladies. One more time. Here we go. The Cure Game trailer. We waited a long time. I probably should have took it live and played the trailer. That would have been sick. But whatever. I mean, for the first time. But let's play it. Let's see what we got. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Do you have any rounds left? Oh, I don't know. Look, either you're doing your dope, Jay. I don't know, Brian. How many people do you expect me to fucking shoot? All right, I'm sorry. No. All right. Get back. Get the fuck back. Get back. Get back. Oh, can I just add something? Can I add something? Do you know how hard it was to find someone to lick a window, especially during these times of COVID? Holy smokes. I had people say I'm in. As soon as I said, hey, what am I doing? Yeah, I look in the window. Oh, I'm sorry. My wife won't approve of it. I said, all right, fine. Dude, it was hard. It was hard to find someone to lick a window. But I found somebody. And she didn't get sick. She's fine. We checked on her. She didn't get COVID. She is fine. 
But dude, she licked the window. And that was just amazing. I love this shot. This is my favorite part of this trailer. I love it. But yeah. Yeah, just really cool. So anyway, let's play it again. Sorry, guys. I had to tell you that. Ariel, shout out to you if you're watching. You did an amazing job. You have any rounds left? Oh, I don't know. Look, either you're doing it or you don't. Jay. I don't know, Brian. How many people do you expect me to fucking shoot? All right, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. Get back. Do you need to leave now? Yeah, the infected get closer to us every day. <laughs> I know you're scared, and you have every right to be. So if you gotta trust me, we're gonna get that vaccine to your father in time. In the meantime, we gotta protect Charlie. I mean, I loved it. I loved the trailer, man. Round of applause. <laughs> Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause. <laughs> All right. So that's it, guys. We are finished. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, continue to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. I do YouTube reviews on films, movies, trailers, like I just did tonight. Um, next episode is really cool. Eddie's joining us again. Yeah, I got a lot of I got a lot of stuff coming. I got some surprises that I can't say yet, but you're gonna find out in a week or two. Man, I got a lot of good stuff coming. Whoa. You're gonna find out though, guys. I got a lot of stuff coming that's gonna surprise people. 2021, get ready. I'm telling you, I'm gonna hit big with the Cure Game, and my Cure Game family is coming with me, me all the way to the top. So get your suits and dresses ready, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to festivals. There's gonna be a lot of interviews with Reese, Adam, Scott, Rose, Devin, Chevy, all of you guys. Um, get ready. Ava, the whole family, we're gonna blow up, guys. This is it. This is the film. This is the film. I got a lot of people reaching out to me already. This is the big one. I will see you all in Los Angeles, California. Get your suits, get your dresses ready. I love you all. Keep watching the Cure Game. Peace out, guys. Enjoy your night. <laughs>